OK, so we have another rational expression. We see a trinomial or another trinomial. Um, we see that there's really uh, nothing special factor out of these. However, I do notice my denominator does have something they have in common, which we call our GCF. So we can factor it out. And we notice that I can factor out a 2 out of my numerator. So I'm going to make sure I do that. You always want to make sure we can do that first. So I factor out a 2, which is going to leave me with an x squared plus x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 5x minus 14. Awesome. So now what we just need to do is we need to factor our numerator and our denominator. And I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker uh, as far as my factoring techniques. I'm actually just going to even do this by um, inspection rather than writing it out. But remember, when looking at factoring this inside this box, we want to say what two values multiply to give me negative 2, but then add to give me a negative 1. Well, I can rewrite that in factored form as x plus 2 times x minus 1. And I go, I can go back through inspection by looking at FOIL. I know that x times x gives me x squared. And then these are going to be both multiplied by 2x and negative x. But let's do 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then 2 plus negative 1 is going to give me a positive 1. And those will be 2x plus uh, negative x will give me a positive x. So that is correct. Then let's go and look in the bottom. So therefore, I need to say, all right, what two values multiply to give me negative 7, but then add to give me a negative 5? Well, that's going to be the factored form of x minus 7 times x plus 2. Because negative 7 times 2 gives you a negative 14, and negative 7 times negative 7 plus 2 gives me a negative 5. So therefore, it's factored correctly. And then remember, now that we're working with binomials, remember we can separate, or we're going to have binomials that are multiplied. We can separate this. Uh, we can separate this across multiplication, or we could just rewrite this. Um, it doesn't really matter, but you can see that this x plus 2 is being divided by this x plus 2. Therefore, that divides out to 1. So that's just going to leave me with a final simplified rational expression of 2 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 7 that I can no longer further simplify or factor out. Thanks.